Hey you guys and welcome back to another episode of Cube SMP. All right guys, I am so excited and I see actually a new building right there. Uh, we're gonna go quickly check that out, but today, uh, whoa, yeah, today we're gonna be doing some checking around. I haven't done a cube in a little while and I gotta turn down my settings. Actually, I might need to do a computer re restart to be honest. Uh, it is pretty laggy, but uh, yeah, so I just got, well not just, I've been away for the last uh, about two weeks, or about a week, week and a half. Uh, I went to Boston for PAX, and you guys know, that's that's all old news. You guys knew I was there. Uh, and then I went to uh, the Rocky Mountains uh, for a ski trip with my uh, with my family as a little birthday present uh, to myself. They gave it to me a couple months ago. They're like, hey, uh, in a couple months, we're going to take you skiing to your favorite place to ski, and it's going to be great. And it was great. It was absolutely awesome. But there's a lot to check out now. So first things first, I want to go and check out if, whoa, there's some people over there. Uh, I want to go and check out if my shop has any sales. Uh, so we're going to come instructions, payments. Okay, instructions. Uh, book and quill. Uh, wait. Uh, please make and rage grump that movie shop out of the way from the road. Rush, automatic breeder. Uh, Rush is beautiful base. Uh, oh, all right. Wait, what? The, <laughs> please make a original contraption. That book is already, or that, uh, it's already gone. All right, we don't have any sales. Uh, and I still got to put stuff in the shop here. I got to finish that up. We might do that today. Actually, I want to go see if that red stop shop, red stop, oh my God. Redstone shop, I can't say that. Uh, I want to go see if it's still standing. I'm pretty sure it is. Which one was, oh, is this one here? So, okay, let me just eat quickly. Uh, okay, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's still functioning. He's only got torches in there, though. One stack for one gold block. Uh, yeah, he only has repeaters. Oh, no dispensers, no comparators. Yeah, so this thing's getting run into the base, or into the ground. So, uh, my whole goal is to, uh, is to build a redstone shop that uh, puts that one basically out of business. Um, <laughs> I want to get all the redstone sales since I am the redstone guy. All right, what do we got here? We got uh, uh, mule haul, mule rental. All right, that's cool. Uh, Strawberry Jam's rainbow shop. Uh, this is Kermit's. Enter here, be quick. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, ten per one or one diamond per entry. Uh, door opens when you put the diamond. Be quick. Uh, stand on the green clay to be sure entry. Um, all right. So basically, wait. Do I have? Do I have Optifine? Apparently, I don't have Optifine. No, apparently, I don't have Optifine. I was gonna try to read those signs there. All right. So apparently, that's I think just a uh, just like a villager trading place, which is so cool. A uh, villager. Oh, that's what it is. A villager vending machine. Uh, okay, and this is. Uh, still being built. This is all new to me, too. This is crazy. Uh, you got the... What do we got in here? I I don't know what this is. People got to put signs. <laughs> I don't know why they don't put signs in the front. Uh, comment section right now. What shop is this? Oh, the oh, right there. The vet. I was going to say, I can't see it. Uh, the vet is already sneaky signs on top. Nope. Uh, so this... Uh, it looks like it's still being under construction there's a little bit of a pool there we'll take a quick bath uh wash ourselves off that's awesome and what else all right is this bees shop still pretty sure it is uh pay here materials here uh instruction booklet all right uh kill a rope whoa okay welcome to kill a robot we we're able to kill your favorite goofy robot but not for cheap. If you'd like to kill the robot, please read on. In order to kill the robot, you must think of a way you'd like to carry out the murder. Once you've thought of your idea, log it in this booklet. Lo booklet. I will then price you accordingly and proceed to set it up. Uh, log your name, idea, follow below in the following format. Uh, name, idea, example, grazer 10, pushing off a building. The page start logging. Grazer, brazer bread. All right, grazer is riding a pig named Poncho. Uh, and then is convinced he is an alternate universe. Then wait till Grazer, and then wait till Grazer is hungry. Order him a pizza. 
but then tell the pizza man to eat it first before he gets into his house. Holy, before he gets it to his house. So then he gets disappointed and then fly IRL to Grazer's house, slap him in the patella, and then run away singing I the Tiger while riding an actual tiger that is also named Poncho. Poncho should be wearing a poncho. Makes an accent while resisting, no, re, sorry, resisting, reciting the alphabet backwards. Then drop Grazer to bedrock level, put water at the bottom, but make sure the water is poisonous so it kills him slowly through years of pain. H bomb. Whoa, jeez, that is the most graphic thing I think I've ever seen. I don't know who wrote that, but that is. Wow, that is crazy. All right, uh, H-Bomb says, I want us to reenact the scene from Romeo and Juliet. To end it off, I want to drop an anvil on your head. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, ooh, all right, yeah, yeah. That's cool, though. Drop an anvil on his head. But, man, that is really weird. So, how many... So, wait, H-Bomb has 254 deaths. Grizzer's 19. I have two. Oh, that makes me sad. I have two deaths. Wait, what is that? Oh, is that that's Tibsy's place? Um, cool, cool. So I've come up on this, and I don't know what this is, but I kind of really want to go down it. Uh, oh, I thought that was a pressure plate on the very bottom. Okay, I'm a little scared. What is this? Um. A lot of redstone blocks, no signs, no nothing. There's just... Oh, is this going to be like the hub system? Oh, this might be like the hub system. Oh, wow. That's cool. So apparently this will go off into everyone's base. That's totally awesome. So I'm also just walking along and this shows up. It's a giant pixel art of Kermit at spawn. Uh, that says hashtag vote for Kermit. Holy crap, that is a lot. That's a lot of wool. I don't know how he did that. Well, I, kn I know how he did that, but I mean, that takes some serious dedication. That's two blocks thick. Wow, that's crazy. All right, so we've got two other shops to check out here. Uh, Kev's enchant service. Um, just an enchanting table, I guess. And D Field's property management. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, property real. Okay, we're going to read the rule book. Uh, we're right there. No, there we go. All right. <clears throat> the Cube SMP Season 2 Official Shop Slash Build District Guidelines. Uh, number one, all shops and businesses must have at least a three block separating two buildings. Uh, the roof of one shop, but must not be touching the roof of another shop. Number three, staircases. Uh, trimming on the bottom shots do not count as part of the three-block rule. Number four, uh, shop owners must agree on any changes on preceding landscaping. Number five, all damage to a shop must be repaired in a timely manner. Example, creeper explosion. All right. Uh, number six, chests and crafting tables must be removed from the district after a shop is built. Uh, number seven, adequate lighting must be used to stop mob spawning. Number eight, all claim land must be used within seven days, otherwise land is up for grabs. Nine, no pixel art shops. Cube group decision. Uh, there already is a pixel art shop. Uh, number ten, no mini or temporary shops stands allowed. Uh, example, Kevin's redstone shop. All right, please note that there are that there are not the only rules that we build by. Please respect the queue property of all queue members on the server. Uh, if any problems arise, please contact Dfield. Rule breaking will result in an undecided free depend or fee depending on. Rule breaking will result in an undecided fee depending on the into. What, I don't know what that says. Uh, hmm. Infraction is that infraction? I'm pretty sure that's infraction. Uh, the, the arrow is covering it. Uh, wow. All right. So there's a little bit of, uh, there's a little bit of stuff that's going on here. We'll set that like that. Uh, reports. So do you think, all right. Uh, any reports down below? Mr. Mitch Redstone shop repeated by Kev's idea supported by reported by Kev. Uh, all right. Well, we'll go like this and we'll go number two. Uh, Kev, 
uh, yeah, kev, and then we'll go like this, and then we will go uh, temp shop. Uh, okay, example, another shop. All right, uh, temp, uh, we'll go redstone. Redstone shop. Uh, and then we will go, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Done. Uh, redstone shop repeat. Uh, yeah, I didn't repeat the idea. That was my shop from the original. And that's a temporary shop. Mine is not a temporary shop. Awesome. And there's another pixel art. Holy, I want to go check this thing out. I have no clue what that means. Hashtag D4F or D4P. Uh, I, I don't know what that means, to be honest. Uh, whoa, what is this? There's so much more extra stuff. Icebreaker. Is that like a mini game? Uh, it might be a mini game. Is there a rule book? Uh, maybe I shouldn't show that off yet. I don't know if it's done. If it, I don't know. People, <laughs> I always get in trouble because I show stuff off in my episode because I walk around. But half the time I'm not supposed to, but no one puts signs, so I have no clue. Um, all right, so but right now I want to do, I want to go and do, whoa, we got mushrooms here. That's new. Um, I want to go do a horse breed, just one. All right, so I was just looking, and actually I had to fill, uh, I had to actually remove all of the stuff from this chest because it was absolutely full. But apparently, I don't know if someone touched it or if someone broke some of the redstone, but now this is broken now. Like it... The redstone doesn't update, so I don't know what happened to it, but I guess I'll have to redo it now. Um, really weird. This may, I don't know, someone may have broke a piece of redstone and not put it back. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. I'll have to go back into my videos and see if it looks um, any different. All right, so I just ran a speed test on that black guy because I wanted to uh, do a black breed. Um, but I think we're going to go this guy and that guy. Uh, please get a black horse, please, please. Oh, we got a gray one. Okay. Uh, so that's an entirely, he looks really weird. His legs look really long. Uh, oh geez. He just grew up instantly. Um, all right. So basically now, uh, we have a, we have three lines of horse. We have gray, black, and, uh, brown. Sorry. Forgot what the other one was. Uh, please hearts, 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 hearts. Ooh, yes, there we go. Awesome. Uh, this guy, he doesn't look too fast. I don't think he's going to be that fast. I think he's going to be a 17, um, I think. And if so, we will do one. Actually, no, 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 no. All right. Uh, boom. I might have to make the uh, the kind of starting area a little bit longer so I can get a speed at it. Um, all right. I think he's going to be 17. Uh, oh, he's 18. That's terrible. Uh, all right, so I think I'm going to have to do one more because I am not happy with that. That is terrible. Razor! HBOM94, we're ready to test out the game. I can't wait Look to see this how this works. Uh, yeah, I'm here, guys. Because, so, Mr. Hey. Mitch is here, too, and uh, surprise, he came out of nowhere. He's going to be refing the game because we need a ref to make sure we know who wins. So, just mm -hmm. a little recap, Mitch. A creeper is going to pop out of this middle entrance way here, and we're going to hit it back and forth using our wooden knockback two swords. But we're going to be equipped with weakness potions, so it doesn't do too much damage as to kill him. And whoever side it blows up on in the end, that's the loser. Ooh, the winner. Yep. All and right. We knock it back and forth. And then you're just going to have to, you're, you're basically, you're here to pretty much distinguish which side it was on. You have a good angle from the side there. Uh, and so there's no debate. We All have right. to listen to right. So and the, the, but, the button, button in the trap door is right in the center. Yeah, so you're gonna have to click that as well. All right, no, we, all right. Uh, yeah, you should click that. We, no, I can you, I get to jump down this? there? Oh, no, I should stay up there. I'll click it. I'll click it. <laughs> okay, so I'll drink. Should we drink it now? Should I drink the? Yeah, you have four minutes on that thing, so you're good. What if this game lasts more than four minutes? <laughs> Holy, <laughs> be a good game. All right, you ready? <laughs> it's a tie. All right, go, well, I feel like it wouldn't be a fair start. Fair start if you like click. I'll do it. it. I'll do it. Second I'll do to it. go. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Three, two, one. Dang it! He hit the yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the game. Thank you for coming out. I say point grazer. He might be right, a little perfect. over. Wait, wait, watch out, Mitch. That thing's watch gonna out, come watch right out. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I hit it again? Wait, why isn't he coming out? It worked he, before. He, here, he bounces up there and then he hits his head on the trap door. Yeah, he keeps doing it. Okay, we gotta move him over an inch. Okay. <laughs> right now, Mr. Mitch. 
Oh, out, technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Oh, no, guys. Dude, dude. That sound, though, hey? What is that? What are you guys doing? Don't click it, don't click it, because the H bomb might be here. not here. Don't worry. H bomb, aka the competitor. All right, three. Count it down. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, no. what? Here, are you, are you kidding? We have tested this so many times and it's worked. Try it again. Try it again. I didn't do this on a server though. Yeah. No! So I'm gonna wait. Hold on. I'm gonna wait till he jumps up and I'm gonna hit him directly to the side once. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that should work. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. Oh no! Oh oh! Okay. 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 We're good. Oh, 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 oh. God, that goes oh, so far back. Oh, oh. It's great. Oh, it's intense. Oh whoa! Oh, oh. This is not gonna work. This is not <laughs> uh, gonna work. Point grazer. We're no point H. Yeah, that's point H. We're gonna have to use sticks, dude. That's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Three hits, I think. Four hits. I think, I think that's we four, tested yeah. that. So no, no. Okay, but I think sticks are better because, as you said, they went way too far back, and sticks don't have the knockback on them. So I think that's actually true. sticks will or work we'll a lot have to get, better. Like, knockback one. Yeah. Or if you can, if you want to give me uh, <gasps> like health potions. Wait. What? Fishing rods. Oh yeah. Fishing rods. Could they work? They work on mobs. Yeah. Mm. And then we'll it, try the sticks, and then we'll try the fishy rods. We'll do, we'll go through a series of testing. So next up, sticks. All right, test number two. Are you fellows ready? Yeah, I'm ready, right, Mr. Mitch. All right, three, two, one. Oh, I gotta oh, do it again. Hold on. Yeah, All right, we gotta three, do it again. two, one. <laughs> yep. Oh, there oh. we go. Oh, oh. oh. no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, he's at H, H bomb side, Grazer side, oh, back and forth, getting beat back and forth. This is more intense. Oh <laughs> boy. Oh man. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. He's right on oh, 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 that was close. Oh, 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 oh he's behind him. Oh, oh point Grazer 10. That was awesome. That was that so was, okay, cool. I, th I think sticks will work. I don't think fishy rods. I think fishy rods would kind of take the fun out of it because you have to reel and stuff. So I think sticks are actually perfect for this. Can we try? Yeah, we might actually have to reel those in. We could try fishing rods. I kind of want to try them. Just see you how want it. Well, if we if we want to do fishing rods, we have to do we have to get another creeper. Yeah. So we actually, I'm I actually uh, so the ref, uh, Mr. Mitch, I just added a new job because I just realized this. I don't think any of us did it in the, the test, but it's it's good to know. We're not actually allowed to pass our zone. So if I go on H's side, that's oh, not allowed. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And if he goes on my side, that's not allowed. I just thought of that when we were doing that. I don't think any of us did that, though, did we? I might have uh, done it. I it know. was close. I, I don't think so. Not okay, deliberately. Cool. So is it, okay. is it a loss of point? or? So if you go on the other person's side, then, yeah, you lose automatically. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> so we'll be back for test number three, fishing rod. All right. All right, round three, guys. Are you prepared for this? Uh, fishing so. rod. You have your yeah. fishing rod, right, Grazer? Yeah. I don't have mine. So the way to win this is to get on his side and have it explode, not yes. get on our side. Okay. Okay, ready? Wait, Are you what? ready? Wait, hold so on. Just, so, like, we're going to be using, like, the way we're going to be using the fishing rod is we're going to be just switching it out so that it doesn't waste any durability and we're also not swinging it back in to get it on our side because the goal is to get it on the other person's side. So, ready, Mitch? Oh, yeah. We need All you right. to hit the creeper, too, afterwards. Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one. Yeah! Oh, you need to reposition him, H. <laughs> All right. we'll, we'll be right back. I know, just replace it. <laughs> oh, dude, I put it on the wrong side. There. All right, All right. you ready? Yeah. All right, attempt number two. <laughs> All right. Three. Three, two, two one. Oh, yeah. Whoa, oh, 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 oh! Oh! oh that was God. fast! You did that so so I timed it perfectly. Holy what the heck! I couldn't do anything about that. That was awesome. So okay, so I think that the best way to play is with sticks. We had the best game doing that. Yeah, that was uh, but it was good fun. to test all three. And so what we're gonna do um, is I'm actually gonna gather a few people on, and we're gonna do a tournament. Oh yeah, right. So that'll be on Grazer's video. That's not gonna be on my video. But anyways, guys, thanks for helping me. Yeah, we got this no all problem. figured out. Yeah. I kind of want to make this a little bit more prettier. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we can make it more pretty after the tournament i, I just somehow for, like you know, sightseeing <laughs> i, I want to get like a uh, green carpet on here and make it look like a tennis court and like we could easily replace the carpet <laughs> afterwards that actually could be pretty cool because then we wouldn't need a ref we would have a line already well, no because yeah. the ref would have to just yeah we, we need a ref i like the ref idea all right uh h right. i'll show your video bro don't tell me what to do all right <laughs> 
Alright guys, so that was a little impromptu uh, game. That was awesome. So, Grazer's little like, yo bro, TeamSpeak. I'm like, alright, join the TeamSpeak. He's like, we need a ref. We're testing out a new game. Uh, and we want you to be the ref. I'm like, cool. I love being the ref. Uh, so that was cool. That is, I want to play that at some point. But I actually want to be the actual... Uh, I'd love to be the creeper. I just want to get smacked around. No, um, I want to actually play it and be in the tournament, but I can't because it is St. Patrick's Day, and I do uh, actually have a St. Patrick's Day dinner, and I'm supposed to be babysitting my sister right now, but I set her up with Lego Batman <laughs> on my Xbox, and she's been there for two and a half hours, no, not that much, 45 minutes, and uh, she's just been entranced. It's so funny. Uh, I come back in, I'm like, Ella, how's it going? She's like, Batman, Batman did this and this and this. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> All right, but quickly, uh, I did launch a t-shirt line. Uh, it's hashtag Ceylon Sailor t-shirt. Uh, it'll be in the top of the description. The way it works, I did it on Teespring, so we, I need to sell 30 more shirts before anyone gets charged. Uh, but if I don't sell enough shirts, then the shirts just aren't made, and you guys get, I guess, refunded the money. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I hope that I sell that because I want... I hope that I sell that because I want to be able to get these t-shirts out because I really enjoy them. They're hashtag sail on sailor, which if you guys do watch factions, um, I definitely uh, I definitely hope you guys do watch factions because otherwise you wouldn't know what hashtag sail on sailor is. But it's basically my little quote and every time one of our bases gets raided or destroyed, I say hashtag or I say sail on sailor. We got it trending uh, the hashtag trending for a while. But uh, yeah, I love the t-shirt. Link is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we recently hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for that. Link also to that is in the description below. Follow me on Twitter if you guys want to keep up to me or keep up to date with what I'm doing. And if you guys want to communicate and interact, it's the best way to stay in contact with me. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next Cube episode.